Hey guys, welcome to my SaaS devlog in which I talk about building of SuperThread, which is a super fast issue tracker that has tasks and docs in the same tool. So the idea is that I want to be doing these devlogs once a week. Since it's February 3rd, I want to say what we've done during this year so far. And then moving forward, I hope to be doing one every week because we do so much stuff every week. It's actually worth talking about. So this year began very well because we developed a feature which allows SuperThread to work offline. So for example, let's say you take your laptop, you go on the train, your internet connectivity is limited or it's non-existent. You can load up SuperThread and look at boards and pages which you visited previously. So it works just like magic and it opens up instantly even when it's offline. And soon uh, we're going to be working on the ability to edit those pages and cards and boards. So when you reconnect to the internet, uh, it's going to sync all the content in an intelligent manner. So that's the offline mode. Next, we deployed our emoji reactions to comments. So SuperThread is a very collaborative tool, which means that we do all our work inside of SuperThread, which means that there's a lot of comments inside of cards and pages, and we thought it'd be really, really cool to be able to uh, react with emojis to comments. And yeah, we did that and it works very well. There's a bit more work to do there. We have to add the uh, Slack notifications for emojis. We have a really good Slack integration and when somebody reacts to your comment, they wanna see that somebody kind of gave it a thumbs up. So we're gonna be adding that soon, hopefully. The next thing we did was the onboarding space, which means that uh, when you sign up for early access SuperThread, uh, you get to have a space which we curate in a separate workspace which gets cloned and that space contains boards and pages and cards. It gives you an idea of the capabilities that SuperThread has. So yeah, hopefully you guys will find that useful. But I wouldn't call it onboarding by any stretch of imagination. I think that's coming soon. The other tasks which are worth mentioning is that we've deployed Zapier integration finally. So there's an app on Zapier, which is SuperThread, and we have limited functionality for now, but we're going to be keeping improving all of it every week, hopefully, and you'll be able to do more and more with our Zapier integration. And the last but not least is the ability to see not only boards, but pages inside of Space homepage. So when you click on Space, you can see all the files inside of it. So like boards and pages and nested pages. But on the right hand side, you only used to be able to see boards, but now you're going to be able to see boards and pages and you're going to be able to move them around between different spaces from the right hand side. So that's really, really cool. It gives you an idea as to what you have inside of your space at a glance without looking at the tree structure on the left hand side. So thanks very much, guys, for watching this devlog. I hope to be doing these uh, slightly more often. So hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Thanks a lot.